What's going on, Chris? How is everybody? We are uh, getting getting deeper into baseball season. The Mets finally got a win. Things are looking up a little bit. Surprised we uh, played as well in Cincinnati as we did. I'm going to give it another couple seconds and start dropping in the leftovers for tonight. There were some uh, pretty big lists for this 2022 uh, Bowman break, so it should be a lot available if anybody wants to pick up anything additional to their orders. Um, I dropped the... I dropped the price that I've been putting on these a little bit more, a little bit more. So I was putting a lot of the stuff at like 50 cents a spot. I dropped it a little bit lower than that on a lot of these. So some, uh, some inexpensive ads. If anybody wants to pick up anything else for their orders, I'm going to start by dropping in the link to the eBay sweepstakes. This is going to be our URL. Oh, really? Let me see what happened. Um, oh, it looks like the S got chopped off. Here, let me put that in again. All right. Let me know if that one works. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it does. Yeah, the S got chopped off somehow. Thanks for letting me know, Joe. All right. Going to start dropping in the uh, the leftovers for tonight's break. We had the first only, the first auto only lot picked up out of the Facebook group. If anybody is interested in joining the Facebook group um, where we make some of the stuff available early, earlier than break time, the Facebook group info is there. What's up? We got Miami Canes. Nice. Welcome, Joe. And we got Zach in the chat as well. Um, let's see. I am going to drop in the rest of these lots. So we have all the first lot. All these guys have base first. <laughs> Joe, who are you? Uh, who are you a fan of? Let's see. All right. We have the first lot that went through Rodriguez. And there's the rest. So that is the first players with base lot. Um, 23 total spots. I dropped that to $15. Anyone who makes some money, are you a, are you a gambler too, Joe? I, uh, I'm not a great baseball gambler. College basketball is more of my thing. So I'll be uh, trying out baseball again this year, but I never really make much money off of it. So if you have any uh, best bets for tomorrow, let me know, and I'll, I'll try and add them to my national championship game bets. All right, we have the AL prospects lot. There's 18 total spots for $9. Alexander Vargas, Asa Lacy, Austin Martin, Bo Naylor, Christian Santana, Gabriel Arias, George Kirby, Roberto Hernandez, Isaac Pacheco, Jackson Kowar, Jordan Belazovic, Maximo Acosta, Misael Urbina, Nick Prado, Pedro Leon, Pedro Pineda, Rick Elvin DeCastro, and Yelki Cespedes. Then the NL prospect slot was 19 total players, also for $9. Uh, I'll let you guys read that list as I drop in the pros and rookies lists. All 
We have the American League Pro slot, 18 spots for $8. We have the National League Pro spot that is Oops. 17 total spots for $7. And finally, we have the rookies lot, which is 20 total spots. For $12. Feel okay with Scotty Scheffler to win the Masters at five to one? I'll consult with my brother. He's a uh, he's a he's more of a golf guy than I am. See what he has to say say about Scotty. Let's see. I probably, I mean, I probably, if I had to bet the line tomorrow, I would also bet Purdue, Zach. Um, I have a 20 to 1 futures bet from December on the, uh, on, on Connecticut to win the national championship. So I really don't feel like I need to add more to that on the Connecticut money line side, but I'll have to take a look at the rest of the lines, the overs and such, uh, before the game starts tomorrow. It's not sharp. That short of uh, that short of odds, but nobody else is ready to win. Just let that ride. All right. I see we have 13 people in the chat already or in the in the live already. We have um, – this is actually going to be our last two jumbo break of Bowman. I have three more jumbo boxes left. I'm going to save one for uh, a future break since this is such a loaded class. I want to keep one of these um, boxes for uh, a future date. When uh, some more of these players have made it up to the major league level, so it'll be a fun rip for uh, some potentially huge names as they start to make it up to the majors. Excuse me. Let's see, like Brooks Kepka, Bo Watson, and the Chinese guy. I forgot his name. <laughs> um, all right, so we have three boxes here. Going to let you guys choose from them. First two people to list a number between one and three can choose a number in the chat. So we have one two, and three. Two and one. Two from Dave and one from Greg. Christopher Purdue at plus six. Yeah, Chris, I, I like that. I like that play. I uh, I think these two teams are pretty evenly matched, and I honestly think that Edie's better than Klingon. I guess that's not a crazy statement to make, but I feel like Edie dominates Klingon on the inside, which just throws off uh, Hurley's game plan a little bit, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. All right, so we have one and two, three. We'll go back to the stack. Um, I'm going to be rolling out. I know I've been teasing this um, over the last couple of weeks. My goal is for the 2024 Bowman draft, uh, not Bowman draft, the 2024 Bowman release to start running some breaks on uh, an additional platform. So we'll continue running through eBay, of course. And uh, we're going to potentially, well, we're going to try and shift the Facebook group breaks onto a platform rather than just running them through Facebook. Um, and I will drop that information in next week. So if anybody is, uh, any, for anybody who's in our Facebook group, we're, uh, we're creating more of a, a site where we're going to be able to list singles as well as breaks. And my hope is that um, I can, it's, it has the ability to make it more of a collaborative site. So anybody who joins the site will also be able to list their singles with into the community. So uh, I'm thinking that'll be, uh, 
a fun next thing for uh, for us to move to as a, as a hot ice community. So there, there's my last uh, teaser for that. I have, I think about 30 or so cards listed on that site so far. I'm going to um, test one or two more things and then we'll get that page going live hopefully next week. So keep an eye out for that in the Facebook group and in next week's break. Didn't think Ellie was going to stay at that price, so I didn't pay attention, and he went cheap. Yeah, Ellie's actually gone pretty cheap in the last two. I mean, he had a rough series against the Mets, but, uh, I mean, his value is still, of course, super high. Zach saying if, if, think if Purdue makes their threes, they win outright. Yeah, I, uh, I still stand by the fact that if uh, Purdue shot the way they did against Tennessee – uh, against Gonzaga, Gonzaga would have taken him out, but uh, that's that's my Homer opinion. I think we had a pretty good game plan against uh, Edie, and I think Ike was able to kind of shut him down a little bit. So it will be interesting to see what Klingon can do. Let's see. Nope, Greg, we're going to get going right now. I'm just going to run through one more time and drop in the leftovers into the chat, and then we will get going. So if anybody's interested in picking up any more spots in this one, I see we only have 10 people. I know there weren't a ton of people in this break, so we'll get it started as soon as I drop these in one more time. So we have the leftover firsts. There is the leftover first slot. We have the AL prospect lot. We have the NL prospect lot. We have the AL pros lot. We have the NL Pros lot. And we have the Rookie Card lot. Anybody wants to add anything else for this break? There are the leftover lots. And let's get things started. Um, if anybody is interested in those lots, uh, feel in, feel open to make offers on those. I have, I have that suggested price there, but listening, uh, willing to listen to, uh, any offers you guys are willing to put out there. Let me just see. Tom just commented. I'm just going to quickly check to see if there's anybody who hasn't been paid for yet on top of the leftovers. Ooh, what just happened? And then we'll get underway. Nope. All good there. Everything paid for. Thank you guys for getting those payments in. And we have the... Houston, Texas game on in the background. Let's see. Spencer Steer is going to – Spencer Steer looks like a monster, Zach. Let's see. Would you take 10 for the rest of the firsts? Ten for the rest of the firsts. What did I have there as the price for those? Fifteen. Sure, I could do that. Chris, you could take. You could get the uh, the rest of the first for ten. All right, let's get ripping. It's a 
we have Tom in the Facebook group potentially interested in picking something up as well. I'll keep an eye on that. But we're going to get things started. Thanks, everybody, for uh, sticking with me for the intro stuff. We are underway. <laughs> uh, Muay Thai ref. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of spots left. I just dropped all the information in. Let's see. You guys have any shot to finish out of the Phillies? I doubt it, Zach. Um, we have it, we have a lot of 18 AL prospects, a lot of 19 NL prospects, all non-firsts. We have a lot of AL pros, uh, 18 of them for $8, 17 National League pros for $7, and 20 rookies for $12. The AL and the NL prospect lots are both $9 for 18 and 19 total prospects. Uh, Muay Thai, if those sound interesting to you, let me know, and I can redrop those player lists into the chat for you. Um, but we're going to start ripping in the meantime. I mean, I guess, Zach, we, we did look better finally this uh, the last couple days. But I, uh, I don't know how we're going to look once we start playing the likes of the Phillies and the uh, – Phillies and the Braves and the Dodgers. All right, we have our first box empty. Brian will take the AL and NL prospects. Uh, Ron, Brian just got in ahead of you. So Brian picking up the prospects. What's going on, Brian? Long time since I've seen you in, uh, in one of our breaks. So 18 total for leftover non-first prospects. And Meb grabbing the rookies. We did. We. I mean, aren't the Reds potentially good this year? Here comes Brian to scoop up all the hits. Oh, man. Uh, we have hit a couple oranges from those first slots recently. So uh, we'll see if, if we if we get that. Actually, wait, no, we can't get an orange in a, suit, in a jumbo. That only comes in a hobby. So no, no oranges in those this time. Let's see. Meb grabbing the rookies. And the only thing we have left now at this point is the pro slots. Drop them in one more time, but then we're going to actually get going. There's a – oh, Ronel Blanco is answering in Spanish? And they're asking him questions in English? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, Ron grabbing the pros. Ron, you want NLNAL? All right, guys. I'm going to start ripping that. Well, uh, Ron confirms. Brian and Meb here see you. <laughs> They're going to steal all the hits. All right. Um, I'm going to scan through these because, of course, all paper cards do ship in this one. So they are worth seeing. I saw Lewis Gill got beat up by – wait, is no, Louis, that was the game that the Yankees won, right? Looks like we're going to get our auto in our first pack. It's going to be a refractor of a Dodger behind this Lewis Gill. So first auto is Jose Ramos, numbered 144 of 499. He's been going cheap in these last couple breaks. Um, I think he went for min bid or just above it this time. He's still a, a ranked prospect for the Dodgers. I was surprised to see how low he was going. We have a Max Meyer top 100. So whoever grabbed Jose Ramos in that one, in this one, real nice start for them. We have a Brett Beatty, Tyler Soderstrom, Brian Bayo on the board. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Robbie Martin Jr., Reginald Preciado. And in the papers in the back, we have a Sedan Rafaela paper. And yeah, that's the biggest name there. 
Let's sleeve up our hits on the first one. Ray grabbing the AL and the NL. You got it. Um, Ron, Ron, does uh, pay, PayPal or Venmo work better for you? Sleeving up all of our firsts and papers and our, well, I mean, firsts and uh, the big name papers like we've been doing since we started ripping 2022, uh, this case that we picked up. Let's see. Either will work. So Venmo is at Hot Ice Breaks. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Um, Zach, did you have Eddie's Leonard? The now big time Tigers prospect. Mev's just here for Rafaela. Got got a paper on the board already. And then I saw you at Tommy Troy in, uh, in round two tonight, Meb. We have a Shane Baz going to Meb's rookie lot. So wait, I, I started mentioning that before. Who won uh who won Meb's fantasy fantasy baseball game that he had Lewis Gill starting in? Henry Davis and Bobby Witt inserts, Max Muncy, Chrome, Malcolm Nunez, Luis Angel Acuna, Alexander Ramirez, and George Valera. A couple of nice prospects there. Robbie Martin Jr. in paper, and no huge names there. A couple nice firsts on the board, though, with Valera and Max Muncy coming in the same pack. Valera could potentially... It, do we think there's a chance he could see major league time this year? He kind of had a soft year last year, but I would expect if he's going to see major league playing time, it, it should come this year. Marcelo Mayer, virtuosic. Any chance he could see major league playing time this year? Matthew Libertor, we have a fuchsia refractor coming up in the back of the chromes. Cooper Kinney. Yuendrick Panango, Jay Allen, Jose Salas, and a first of Trey Sweeney. Back-to-back -back breaks with a nice Trey Sweeney. Um, I was looking through some prospect lists. Is Trey Sweeney a Dodgers prospect now? I think that's what I saw. I have no idea how that happened, if that's the case. Maybe, um, maybe the Clayton Beater trade? So Trey Sweeney, 177 of 199, and Jose Ramos, 144 of 499. Otto starting us off with two nice hits. That's the way we want to see our hits coming out. Color of potentially big prospects, both in the Dodgers organization. We have an O'Neill Cruz, Rookie of the Year favorites, Austin Hendrick. Chrome, we have Marcelo Mayer. Benny Montgomery, James Wood getting on the board early with a nice chrome card. Trey Sweeney getting back on the board to add to his fuchsia refractor. And Aurelvis Martinez, who apparently his uh, bat to ball is got a lot better last year. I thought that based on the fact that there was a part of the season where he had more home runs than he had singles, that he was uh, still an all or nothing guy, but... Apparently, he's uh, hitting a little bit better for average and could see some time at third base for the Blue Jays this year. Did a lot of catching up with uh, the call-up podcast by Arm Layton this week, so learned some players' names that I've been pronouncing wrong for uh, a year plus and uh, learned a lot more about some of the guys. I don't know if a ton of them are in this set, but the, listen to uh, Arm's top 100 list and got some got some good insights. Rodolfo Castro, Rookie of the Year favorites. Marcelo Mayer, High Five Futures. Sky Blue Paper, Chris Bryant, number 262 of 499. Nick Gonzalez, top 100. Raquel De Castro, Alan Serta, Misael Urbina, Samad Taylor, 
and PCA, Pete Crow Armstrong, getting the last chrome of the pack. All right, let's catch up in the chat while I get these sleeved up. Yankees took two of three from the D-backs. I, I was sad that I didn't get any money on that series. Some, There were some potential good lines to be had there for, uh, for the D-backs. Do you mind if I get you before or right after? Uh, Ron, preferably before. Um, so if you could send it now, that'd be great. Glare off of that Trey Sweeney. Let's see. Chris had Gill. Uh, Yankees winning the AL barring injuries. What do we think of um, Bieber and Strider going down? Are th is anything confirmed on either of them? I think I think Bieber is confirmed, right? With the uh, with Tommy John. I didn't see if there was any more news on. Speaking of Spencer Strider today after they did the elbow uh the test on his elbow yesterday josh lau rookie of the year favorite spencer torkelson high five futures we have a gold paper in the back we have a dl hall top 100 behind that francisco alvarez having a nice start to the season for the mets jeter downs brady allen behind the brady allen we have yorbit vivas and dustin harris so some Good names in that pack as well. Colson Montgomery getting a paper. And let's see. Behind the young Kenzie Noel, our gold is going to be a first. Okay, we'll take that one. Congrats, Colson Montgomery spot getting number six of 50 gold paper refractor. We pulled a, a Colson Invicta auto last break. That was on card. And now we have gold paper, six of 50. So a, a double Colson pack in paper there. Base paper and gold paper there. Adding to the Harris, Vivas, and Brady Allen chromes. Let's see. Oh, um... To clear the 40-man 40 40-man 40 room for Otani, they sent a reliever and Vivas to the Yankees. Speaking of the Dodgers prospects, what happened to Diego Cartaya? It looks like I mean he got passed by uh rushing, but I and then they signed what Will Smith to like a hundred and thirty million contra dollar contract this week. So I guess he's gonna get traded at some point. I, I don't think he's fallen off as a prospect. I think he's still number two in their organization, which is still a great organization. We have Colton Kowser, Bowman in 3D, Leo Verpogoro, High Five Futures, and Tyler Soderstrom, Top 100. Some lime green paper coming up in the back. Luis Rodriguez, Wilman Diaz, Joshua Baez, Chrome First. Robert Dominguez, Chrome First, and Josuar Garcia First. Valera Paper, Oswaldo Cabrera Paper. And Yoendrick Penango, lime green paper, numbered 185 of 399. If I remember correctly, I think Penango was a meb spot tonight. I can't remember who had Colson. Thanks, Ron, for sending that through. Let's see. Have Gil and Yorbut Viva also tonight. Wait, is Yorbut Vivas in the majors? No news is good news on the Strider front, says Zach. Why is the color changing so much on the screen? Let's see. Odds, I'll never get your Vivas and Lura dual auto redemption. Oh, man. That's never fun. Um, 
Hope we don't get a redemption. These already expired. Um, yeah, I know the I know the Triantos one expired. So I assume does, does that mean that all redemptions expired at this point? Strange that Triantos signed some of his cards, but didn't get all of them signed. Oh, oh, we have a gold shimmer. That's not that's not a redemption. Luis Rodriguez, Virtuosic, and behind that, Elijah Cabell. Elijah Cabell, gold, number 49 of 50 gold shimmer, I should say. The, I believe he was a late-round draft pick for the, uh, the Cardinals. We have a Khalil Watson, top 100, Christian Hernandez, Pedro Leon, Roberto Campos, Dory Lorenzo. And behind Dory Lorenzo, Andre Lara in paper. No huge names there. We have a an Astros win over Texas in the background. And we got gold and an auto. So off to a, a decent start. I do don't know a ton about Cabell, 17th rounder, 511th overall. Uh, haven't looked at his stats anytime recently. I'm assuming he outperformed his draft position, which is why they put him in this set. Let's see, that was the bottom row, so that means we probably won't have an auto in either of these packs. We have a refractor and a gold on the board already so i'm imagining we'll see a base auto as our final in this box but who knows maybe we get a three refractor auto box jason dominguez virtuosic marcelo mayor high five futures and heston top 100 Oop, jordan lawler stuck to the back of that one Jordan Lawler, uh, Chrome, Colton Kowser, Chrome, Adele Amador, three really nice prospects in a row, Khalil Watson, first Chrome, and Colson Montgomery, first Chrome. Pretty nice pack there. Classe and Khalil Watson getting papers. Let's see, I'm trying to remember who I realized, whose name I realized I was pronouncing wrong this week from watching Aram. Uh, Lazaro Montes would be one, one of them. I've been calling him Lazaro this whole time. Let's see. Joe has Colson. Congrats, Joe. Off to a nice start in our breaks. Always love when we get the, uh, the new people hits in the breaks. Let me, uh, switch ESPN to, oh, well, bad news bears. I'll leave on it. We'll leave this on for a second. Um, all expired at the end of March. Just made five dollars from your kid. I bet him the game would end in a double play. That's hilarious. All right, I'll cut up with the chat. Let's keep it moving. We still have one more auto left from this first jumbo box of the break. We had an O'Neill Cruz paper there. Luis Angel Acuna Virtuosic, Jason Dominguez High Five Futures, and Marcelo Mayer Top 100, Sal Frelic Chrome, Helio Ramos, Dario Lopez, Nico Cavadas and Maki Backstrom first. Maki Backstrom paper as well. Jackson Churio on the board for the first time in paper. Averson Ortega as well. So Jackson hit his first home run of his career. Little uh, oppo to center field, to right center field for his first career home run. Glad that one didn't come against the Mets. <laughs> Diaper wipes in the Formula One equals $100. What? 
Uh, we have our last auto in this pack. It is base. Last auto of this box, I should say. We have a Francisco Alvarez Invicta, and our auto is Lenin Sosa. Zach, post break, uh, post eBay auction pickup, getting a base auto of Lenin Sosa. Nice pickup there. Brennan Davis, top 100. Edgar Cuero. Been going cheap in these breaks. Cuero, still a good looking prospect. Ed Howard. Oswaldo Cabrera also, I feel like, been going cheap compared to his uh, beginning of the season performance for the Yankees. We have a Luca Tresh and Henry Davis finishing off our chromes for the pack. So three decent autographs coming out of this one. Ramos and Sosa, both uh, nice players. And Elijah Cabell Gold. We'll have to, I'll have to figure out more about him uh, after this break. And final pack of box one. We have another Invicta. This one, Wilman Diaz. Robert Hassel, top 100. Brennan Davis, Chrome. Ronnie Marusio, Chrome, Logan Cerny, Misael Gonzalez, and Henry Mendez, final Chrome of the box. We'll sleeve up the Bayo, and there's our first Ellie paper on the board. So Ellie doesn't go hitless in the first box. The Boston Ace, Brian Bayo. I think he was the, the opening day starter, if I saw that correctly. All right. Let's see. Miami has to put me into a few. <laughs> He's put me into a few of our breaks before. And he hopefully, hopefully got some nice stuff uh, on top of that, Colson, in those. Let's see. Somehow my TV is always ahead of Meb's TV. Always will be. Those, those new the New York channels. Let's see. Did we see? Did I see the home run Cam Collier hit the other day? I didn't. Hoping uh, he steps it up this in his sophomore year in the minors. Out of the stadium into the street. I did see. Um, Kobe Mayo's home run, which is also one of the funniest calls that I've ever seen by uh, any announcer. The second it goes off the bat, he just goes, ah, that's a home run. Kobe Mayo absolutely crushing one in uh, in that loaded Baltimore AAA lineup. We have our second box open, and there we go. Don't know why nobody wants Sosa. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm a, I'm actually a decently big Sosa guy. I was also shocked that uh, his stuff is as low as it is. I mean, I know he had a rough time of it at the beginning of last year, and maybe there's some, as Arm calls it, prospect fatigue there because uh, he made it up, didn't perform out of his mind, and. Uh, People wanted to sell off of him, but I still like him as a potential good good MLB player. We have a rookie of the year favorite, Wanda Wander. Can't talk, Armando Cruz. High five futures. A rookie of Rodolfo Castro, purple number twenty five of two fifty. Jordan Adams, top one hundred. Haven't heard his name in, since since last year. Christian Hernandez. Pedro Leon, uh oh, Logan Cerny, Misael Gonzalez, and Henry Mendez. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we get the exact same chrome collation again. Let me just move over 
some of this paper stack. And let's leave up our hits from this one. So Rodolfo Castro getting a hit. I can't remember if he was in the rookie lot. I feel like he was, but I'd have to double check that. Christopher Torin went four for four today. Drew Jones. Does that mean infield single and double or... Just single and double. Misael Gonzalez and Hendry Mendez. And let's see if we're going to get the same Chrome Coalition. Fingers crossed since the last pack was the same as the first pack. That means the rest of them are going to be different after this. Sorry, let me show all these paper cards. We have a Joe Ryan Rookie of the Year favorites. We have a Bobby Witt High Five Futures and an Oswald Peraza Top 100. Noel V. Marte. Tristan Casas, there we go. Warming Burner Bell, first time we've seen him. Curtis Mead, first time we've seen him. And Matt Frazier. So maybe we will still get a different Chrome Coalition here. Give everybody a chance to get on the board tonight. Frazier, Burner Bell, and we'll get that Mead top loaded. Who was our need for Mead guy back in the day? Forgot who who always joined our breaks and was asking for Mead. Is that Alex? We have a Jake Berger Rookie of the Year favorites. Aurelvis Martinez, top 100. Looks like we'll need to flip again. For Francisco Alvarez, we have a purple paper in the back. Cooper Kinney Chrome, Yoendrick Panango, Sedan Rafaela, Victor Labrada, and Diego Rincones. So Meb getting a chrome on the board now. There's another Bayo paper that we'll top that will sleeve. Another Ellie de la Cruz paper. And a Brett Beatty, number 159 of 250 purple paper. Beatty looking decent this year. He had a real nice, uh, real nice series defensively against the Reds. The bat, the bat's starting to starting to go. His exit velo is still crazy. So I still have high hopes for him as a Met fan. Meb will give you your top load on your sedan. Um, I don't know if anybody else caught the uh, comments that I feel like this pack might be an auto since we haven't had one in this row yet. So I'm going to put it on the bottom and we're going to save it for the end. And let's go with these other two packs. Arm commented on the fact that Lazaro Montes is apparently hilarious. So I checked out some of his high, some of his uh, minor league highlights from last year and uh he loves running around the bases and like flexing or making like pointing to the crowd as he trots around the bases. Seems, seems like he's a pretty entertaining guy. We have a blaze Jordan Bowman in 3d Brady house, high five futures and Alec Thomas top 100 behind that. We have Brett Beatty again, this time in Chrome, Tyler Soderstrom, Chrome, Christian Roa, Ricardo Genovese and Daryl Hernandez. James Wood back on the board in paper. Ryan Rucco called the uh, Women's National Championship game. Does he do? Ryan Rucco usually does NBA for ESPN, right? I don't remember him ever doing any male collegiate games there's another spencer strider three of him on the board i believe austin martin top uh virtuosic 
Zach Veen, top 100. Max Muncy back on the board in Chrome. Malcolm Nunez, Will Wagner, Darren Baker, and Michael Escato. Colson back on the board in paper. Another Jan Kenzie Noel back there too. Colson Escato. Baker, Wagner, and Muncy all getting on the board on that one. Let's see. What do we have in the chat? Oh, we have a lot in the chat. Let's see. 36 runs in first two games. Does that mean – wait, who had 36 runs in their first two games? Oh, the uh, the Baltimore play team. Uh, Heston Chris had a 10 RBIs in game one. What? That's wild. I need to start following them a little bit closer. Um, on a side note, Jay Allen hit a bomb today on top of all his stolen bases. Allen, Allen getting some bombs now. Um, know anyone who collects Jay Allen besides you? I do not. Still looking for our first auto in this box. Another O'Neill Cruz paper. We have a Speckle coming up potentially in the auto spot and a Fuchsia in the refractor spot. So original Preciado and Creed Williams. We used to have Creed Williams' dad join some of our breaks. I don't think we've ever hit a Creed Williams numbered ever. So... Creed on the board, 156 of 299. I don't know where he is in the Baltimore organization at this point, but catcher, I guess, stuck behind Adley, at least. Tristan Casas, top 100. Raquel Castro, Alan Serta, Jose Ramos, Brandon Valenzuela, and Reginald Preciado on the Fuchsia Lava, number 93 of 199. I believe that goes to the National League lot. So Brian, of course, getting uh, getting himself on the board there. Jackson Churio paper. Still only have Churio, two Churio papers and two Ellie papers on the board so far from our big chases. So one auto out, and it is a speckle. So of our first four autos. Three refractors, one base. There we go. We'll get Creed on the stand. Strand better. Yeah, I know. I he, Strand had one home run, right? And then, but oh, he had that the walk off home run. And I think that was. I think somebody said last week that was his first hit of the season. So yeah, didn't do much against the Mets in this series. Zach saying Strand will be okay. It's Ellie that Zach is worried about. Ooh, interesting. I mean, I think he's still hitting 250 after a pretty abysmal series against the Mets. Diego Cartaya, Luis Rodriguez, and Riley Green, top 100. Edgar Cuero back on the board in Chrome. Behind him, we have Ed Howard. Disappointment Ed Howard was after being drafted in the first round. Luke Waddell, Anthony Rodriguez, and Fidel Montero. Sit down, Rafaela Paper. Another Sosa in there for Zach. Sedan in paper, Cuero, Montero, Rodriguez, and Luke Waddell in chrome. Two autos left. Creed sells. Wonder if that's because he's a, a Baltimore prospect and uh, 
people just have high expectations for Baltimore prospects. I have to check his stats as well after this. We have a J Rod Invicta. That's pretty cool. Alexander Vargas, top 100. Francisco Alvarez. We have a green wave coming up. Jeter Downs. Fran Aldui. Elijah Tatis. And a green mini diamond first. Oswaldo Cabrera. Well, that would have been a nice one to pull to two years ago in the in the playoffs, I think it was, when people were going crazy about him. Or was that last year in the playoffs that Oswaldo was getting all that hype? Two, it, it was 22 in the playoffs, I guess. It had to be, right? Because this is Bowman 2022. There is Eddie's. Either way, still, still a nice card for uh, a guy who's selling pretty cheap, so... Whoever uh, grabbed the Oswaldo spot tonight getting a real nice card for uh, a nice price. Number 59 of 99, Oswaldo Green Mini Diamond. I actually really like the color mini diamond design. I like it more than the, the Vapor that they've been doing a lot of recently. Not doing bad tonight with the hits. Let's see. I'm going to take the Sweeney down, put it to the side next to the Sosa, and we'll add that Oswaldo up to the top. Try and get the glare off that one. There we go. Well, still some glare on it. Oh, well. Ooh, my jet. Uh, Zach saying last year for Oswaldo, who's uh, who's going to take his job? Is that going to be uh, Peraza's job? Iris Maxi scored fifty two tonight. Oh, last year, last year was his hype. Yeah, I remember it. I remember a day where his uh, his spots were going for over a hundred dollars in uh, three box breaks. Now I think they're going for under ten. And uh, I guess this one's a two boxer. We have an Invicta of Zach Veen, Jordan Walker, top one hundred, Shalin Polanco, Pedro Pineda. Daria Lopez, Nico Cavadas, Maki Backstrom, Cabrera in paper, Khalil in paper. Three more packs left. Should be two more autos still to come. One should be there. One speckle on the board so far. Let's see, I'm going to go middle pack first. If we have some kind of crazy color in the, in the auto spot. I will wait until the end here, but looks like we're going to save the autos for the last two packs. Trey Sweeney, Virtuosic, Luis Matos, High Five Futures, and Maximo Acosta, Top 100. Chrome of Brendan Davis, Ronnie Marusio. Martin Jimenez, Yurabel Angeles, and Lenin Sosa. Vivas and Curtis Mead. Papers. Another Sosa. This time Chrome, Yurabel Angeles, and Martin Jimenez. For anybody who is here early for the 2023 Bowman draft break, um, I am going to be starting that in about five minutes as soon as we finish this one. I am going to end this stream, though, and open up a separate stream for that one um, since this one only has the label for the one break on this one. Keep them, been keeping them separate the last couple of weeks. We have another O'Neill Cruz paper there. Uh, are we going to be short in auto, or did we already hit two autos in this box? Spencer Torkelson. Noel V. Marte and Pedro Leon. What's going on here? Leo Ver Paguero, Spencer Torkelson, Brian Bayo, Robbie Martin Jr., and Michael Escado Refractor. Did we already hit two autos in this and I'm losing my mind? 
the Warming Burner Bell paper, Daryl and Ayaz paper. We have one, two, three, four. Oh, we're going to be short of an auto on this. I literally just sent a missing hit. Um, literally just sent a missing hit order into Tops yesterday. Now I'm going to have to put another one in. Apologies, guys. We had an extra auto in the last break, and we're going to be short one in this one, it looks like, unless we have uh, two in this pack. Jorbid Vivas is going to take all of their spots. And let's see. We're, we're going to have a base. Remember when Khalil Watson was going for 10 times James Wood? And not, not anymore. All right. Final auto of this break behind the Jaron Duran Rookie of the Year favorites is going to be... Oh, okay. Well, at least it's a nice one. Speaking of uh, of big names and uh, like James Wood, getting ink of Curtis Mead. Even uh, with the one auto short in this one, this was a really nice break. I think this might be the best break we've had of Bowman so far. I will write on the inside of this box that uh, there was a missing auto, and I'll get that one mailed off to Tops as well this week. We'll get that one out to whoever... That hit comes in for as soon as we get it. We have a Helio Ramos uh, top 100, Sal Freelich, Helio Ramos, Jan Kenzie Noel, Jeremy Vargas, Errol Vera. That is Leonard in paper. There's a J Rod in paper as well. Maybe, uh, maybe since the redemptions are expired, they'll uh, they'll send one of those Triantos. Atomic uh, atomic autos that they have sitting around at uh, at tops now that will never get redeemed. That would be that would be a nice uh, a nice one for I think Darren had him today. Tell him that it was a red Khalil Watson. I don't know. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him uh, that they better send us one of those redemptions that never got sent out for or never hasn't got pulled yet and is expired. If it's a dual auto, even better. All right, let's recap this one. Then we're going to shift over to 2023 draft. Starting off the hits with the Michael Escato Refractor, Reginald Preciado, uh, Fuchsia Lava, Jackson Churio Paper, Sedan Rafaela Chrome, Ellie Paper, Brett Beatty Purple Paper, Curtis Mead Base, Rodolfo Castro Purple Paper, Ellie De La Cruz paper, Yondrick Penango lime green paper, and James Wood base. And then all the hits in the back, starting with Lenin Sosa base auto, Creed Williams speckle auto, number 156 of 299, Trey Sweeney, Fuchsia refractor, number 177 of 199. Let's go, let's go with the big names last. So we'll go Oswaldo Cabrera. Green Mini Diamond, number 59 of 99. Jose Ramos, Refractor Auto, 144 of 499. Elijah Cabell, Gold Shimmer Auto, number 29 of 50. And then Colson Montgomery, Gold Paper, number 6 of 50. And Curtis Mead, Base Auto. Probably the head of the break there. Yeah, two Churios pulled. Um... One of them I didn't pop load, so it's it's somewhere in this uh, in this penny sleeved stack. But yeah, there were there were two Cheerios. You are correct about that. I'll get the I'll get a top loader on the other one as well. All right, I will. I'm going to shift over now. We'll see everybody in the Bowman draft break in one minute. Going to end this stream and start up. Thanks everybody for joining this one.